This week on Kayak USA, we're going to be working on the kayak camping trailer. Today, I'm going to be installing the rooftop tent. We got to weld up some brackets and get these billy bars installed. Y'all stick around. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name's TJ. Welcome to Kayak USA. This week, like I said, we're going to be working on the kayak camping trailer build that I've been talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go check out last week's video where I went over everything that we're going to be kind of adding to this trailer. This is basically just a 14 foot utility trailer that we're currently converting into a kayak hauler, but it's going to have a rooftop tent, rod storage, all kind of cool stuff we're going to add to this thing. But this week is going to be the rooftop tent install i guess we're gonna i've already built this square five by five box on the front of this trailer and i want to adapt it so that i can put these billy bars on here from my tacoma so i want to be able to swap the billy bars from the trailer to the truck so if i want to run the rooftop tent on my trailer it'll be an easy swap from truck to trailer so today that's what we're going to do i've got to weld up some more uh square tubing i've got some here and in order to get these billy bars to work, I've got to add a couple more braces across here in order to make some mounting points. And once we get all these braces put across here, we can permanently mount, or I say permanently, we're gonna bolt on this billy bar bracket on both sides, and then we'll drop the tin on top. I'm also gonna add a few gussets to today's video so we can square this thing up. This is the main part of the trailer that I wanna get right, right off the bat. That way we can move on to the rod pod storage, the water storage, and all that other cool stuff. So I'm just gonna set the camera up. We're gonna start doing some cutting on this metal and do some welding. Let's get to it.
And just like that, the billy bars are installed. I say just like that. It's literally been hours and it's hot and I'm sweating buckets out here. But I do want to go over it with you real quick before we drop the tin on top of it. And at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I was going to put a deck on the top up under the tent right up. Let's see if I can show you right up here. And I think I've changed my mind on that for now. I may go back and add it, but I don't know if I want to add that extra tongue weight with those boards to the front. I mean, it's probably not going to be that much weight, but once you add the tent up here and you add the decking boards up here, we're putting a lot of weight right past the front of these tires. Let me turn the camera around and show you. So you, as you see, the, the tires are, you know, they're about a foot back from where the tent is going to be already. So I'm already adding a good bit of tongue weight to the front just by having the tent that far forward. And I'm worried that once we add the decking boards to the top of this, it's going to add unnecessary weight. I don't know. It may not be that much weight. I may go back and add it. But for today, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to drop the tent. We're going to move the trailer up under my hoist. We're going to hit the button and lower her down on there and get her mounted up and see how she looks up here. But what do y'all think about this Billy Bars rack on here so far? So what I did was I added a, another square tube all the way across here. And what that allowed me to do was use two mounting points here and one mounting point right here. Let's see if you can see them across the other side over there. So let me turn the camera around. You can see right here. So that gave me a mounting point here and it gave me two down here. So this Billy Bars rack isn't going anywhere because when it's mounted to a truck, you don't even use this middle one. You just use these two here and the little track system on the truck. So this is actually probably more sturdy than it would be on the back of the truck. And I use stainless steel quarter 20 uh, bolts. I don't have the nylon nuts, but I'll probably go back and add the nylon nuts just in, you know, for the sake of safety, I guess, to make sure the nuts don't come loose on there, but it looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Now, a lot of you are going to ask me what this is for on the front. Uh, if you've seen at the beginning of the video, I had my, here it is right here, my four wheeler ramp. So I keep this on the front because it, it's out of the way and it folds up and I can lock it on the front. So when we were taking the dual sports or the four wheeler, we can just throw the ramp on the back, drive it up on the trailer and then put the ramp back up front. Me adding that aluminum ramp allowed me to take off a huge heavy gate that was at the back of this trailer. I mean, it was massive. It was super heavy. It was overbuilt and it just, it weighed too much and it was in the way. So I was able to get rid of that ramp by adding the aluminum folding rack, which weighs just about nothing. And we hang it right off the front up here. So it works out really well. I'll show you the other side. I like it a lot. I think, I think those billy bars are going to look really good on here. Once we get it out in the sun, we get the tent mounted on here. I think it's going to look really good. So let's, uh, let's get this thing up under the tent. Got it hanging up here in the ceiling, probably covered in dust. I haven't had it down in about a month. And uh, we'll back this thing outside. We'll put the kayak on it and see how, how it looks.
All right, y'all, I think it's coming along nicely. I really, really like the rooftop tent on the front of this trailer. I think that we're gonna add some corner jacks to this thing to stabilize it a little bit later because we're gonna test this out on, on uh, Lake Gunnersville very soon. We're gonna take it and go up there and do some kayak fishing and stay overnight in the rooftop tent. And I was looking at it a while ago when I was climbing on the trailer and I noticed it did have some sway. So I think maybe in an upcoming video, maybe the video where we add the rod tubes, I'll go ahead and throw on some corner jacks. So when we do go camping, we can level it out and you know stabilize it a little bit. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new and you wanna follow along with this build, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, and I'll catch you next Thursday at two o'clock. Peace.